go with, you know, putting more emphasis on getting that first turret, you know, trying to bully out straight up in lane phase. And I think that actually influences the final pick from TSM. When they throw in the Lissandras here for this TSM. Could be first turret. Top side. Could be first blood. And I thought they were going to give this up. As I said, it's going to be a little crazy for the fight. Here comes Tuhi over the wall. Oh, 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 oh they're Peacemaker okay. from downtown coming in from Stixay. They're going to be able to turn this one around. Is on the line, and they have to do this quickly. TSM have not shoved their top side up. So CLG need to push very quickly if they want to make this work. Mm -hmm. say this is usually be that time TSM takes Dragon, but Svenskaren's up here as well. Honcho's going to swipe him back, but still gets taken it's down. It's a race. Yep, they got the kill, but can they get the turret? TSM are on it. How they much Stixa and Aphromoo were rotating around? They're going for Afro. Whoa, belts over the wall. They should be able to get him in the final here. Tether on to Bjergsen oh. to nullify the damage. Then puts the shield out. Deja Vu and Afro not going down in the fight being turned around. Biofrost is the next to get hit up. And now they look for Haunter and Svenskaren. Svenskaren slowed a little bit there. Oh. There's nice oh. on. Scatter the weak. Will they be able to take him down? Xmithy tries to get the drink out. The slow is not there. The trouble <laughs> is going. found, but they are able to hit it. Who he comes up huge and CLG do it again. Hated. Boom. <laughs> Uh oh, actually, wants something. he's Speaking trying to cut him place. off. Stick say he has both summoners. Whoa, he doesn't even go for whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to make a solo play here, but also by time for the team. It may go. just matter. He belts forward as well. Helps with Hauntzer to get the kill, but they're able to priority focus Hauntzer. That's Aphromoo going down as he steps back in. Bjergsen's going to be the focus. Glacial Tomb to save himself, and will he go down? Oh, Double it flashes out to return a kill. And they're able to keep Bjergsen alive. Somehow they turn this on. Uh, you know, keeping the enemy team on the run. When he's got a front line like Lissandra Nar. Here we go, though. Here we go. We've seen these plays before. Stixay at MSI was able to do it on the Caitlyn. This time completely locked down. They make sure he's the target because of the threat he can create. And flash right into the structure. Unfortunate for Aphromoo and very fortunate for TSM. Holds the all Holds the Zanyas. The lock is Oops. used for safety. And after all that initiation, it really goes back in. He doesn't have task here. Bjergsen says, I'll give everybody time to come in with me. There's the Zanyas after. They pull the scatter from Huhi. So the crowd control may be down. But Bjergsen has now given himself up for the fight to happen. Teleport in behind Cassandra. This is the plan play for TSM. COD has to stop it. They have to go now. 4,000 health on the Baron. 3,000. Here it comes. The fight. Baron gets left out. Aphromoo is going to be the focus here. He goes down in the end. Hunter's taking a lot of damage. They try to get to the back line. Bjergsen throws down the ult. And Xmithy and Stixay in a bad spot, but still able to deliver DPS. And that's why it's a bad spot. As soon as they jump on him, they have all the say in the world as to what happens and continues to happen in the fight. The fight was set up by TSM for several minutes, and it was beautiful coordination from a wonderful team. <laughs> Call what? of the day as Baron is taken by TSM. 10 to 7. Bjergsen and Lissandra, he gets pretty much obliterated by Bjergsen Lissandra, and no one on COG had a way of entering that fight properly. They couldn't have the setup because they were forced to get pulled into that spot. Oh. You're they, they, they don't, don't even need to teleport in. Out. Bjergsen's behind them. Oh, mission impossible from Bjergsen. Oh. The cleanse happens immediately. There's also a Mikhail's for Stixay. He gets that as long as a heal from Alfaru, but he still goes down. There's too much front end damage from TSM. A double kill for Double Lift as he comes up strong with the ricochets. And now they're on to Xmithy. They will finish that kill. The flash over from Double Lift to solidify and secure that fight for the team. Yeah, and it only took for COG to go out in the open before TSM could flank him once again. So that's where they were going to want the fight. Kind of put the carrot on the stick and reel them out of their base, walk them out slowly, and then they attack. They set up the bushwhack. They come out strong again in game two. And padding the scoreboard a little bit here as Darshan says, walk this way, not towards the Nexus. But TSM knows the focus, knows the priority, and look to game three as game point for CLG. TSM now one game away from making the finals for a record eight straight split. Yeah, they're looking pretty dominant.